Hello guys, in this video, we are going to see the IC74LS30. It is 8 input NAND gate IC. So whenever all the input will be 1, then only we will get output as 0. As you can see here, all the inputs are 0, we are getting 1. Now we will make all the input 1, 1 by 1. Now see here, all the inputs are 1, we are getting output as 0. Now in this video, we are going to see its practical circuit. So let's get started. This is the IC 74LS30. It is 8 input NAND gate. 7430. This is the pin diagram of this IC. Pin number 7 is ground pin. And pin number 14 is plus VCC. We have to apply plus 5 volt. As you can see here, pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11 and 12 are the inputs. And pin number 8 is output. Very simple. Now let's see the practical circuit. This is NAND gate. As we have seen, pin number 1 to 6, 11, 12 are the input pins. So I am writing here input. We are going to connect a switch with input pins so that we can provide input signal. We will do this to all the 8 pins. And with the other side, we will connect plus 5 volt. This IC is a digital IC, so we have to connect a pull down resistor with its input pins. I already explained why should you connect this resistor, link is given in the description below. So we are going to connect a 1 kilo ohms resistor. To see the inputs, we are going to connect an LED. This value is 220 ohms. To the output, we are going to connect another LED. The value is 220 ohms. We have to connect this connection 8 times, as we have 8 input pins. So this is our connection. All the inputs are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So the output will be output is Y. Y equal to A dot B dot C dot D dot E dot F dot G dot H whole bar. This is the NAND gate. Now we are going to see this on breadboard. One request, please consider to subscribe my channel. This will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you. For the practical, we need IC74LS30, 220 ohms resistor, 1 kilo ohms resistor. To provide input, I am using this kind of switch, blue and green LED. Putting the IC, input A, input B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So these are 8 inputs. One pin of the switch is connected to the positive rail. Connecting pull down resistor with input pin of the IC. These are 1 kilo ohms with pin number 1, pin number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11 and 12. These are 8 inputs, connecting output LED, this side is positive of the LED and this side negative. With the positive pin connecting 220 ohms resistor and then it is connected to pin number 8. Because pin number 8 is output pin of IC. And negative pin is connected to the ground. And pin number 7 of the IC is connected to the ground. Pin number 14 is connected to the positive rail. Now I am connecting the input LEDs A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. These are all 8 input LEDs. This side is positive and this side is negative. So it is the negative pin of the LED connecting 220 ohms resistor and then it is connected to the ground. Now it's time to connect 
switch to IC. This is input A and switch A. So this pin of the switch should be connected to this pin of the IC. And like this we will connect them all. Switch A is connected to input pin 1. Switch B is connected to pin 2. C is connected to pin 3. D is connected to pin 4. E is connected to pin 5. F is connected to pin 6. G is connected to pin 11. And H is connected to pin 12. So this is how I have connected all of them and this is how we have completed our connection. Now connecting plus 5 volt and we will see the output. Here it is negative and positive. As it is NAND gate, so we will get the output as 0 if all the inputs are 1. It is 1 input 1, 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, see, all the inputs are 1, we are getting 0. If any one is 0, whenever one input is 0, we will get output as 1. So, this is NAND gate. So, guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I will show you another topic. Till then, stay happy and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.